This is the channel where we help you become a doctor. Let's diagnose this patient. She keeps waking me up at night. It's like she's fighting someone in her sleep. Last week, she nearly knocked over the lamp. I don't remember any of it. Just these really vivid dreams. I'm being chased, attacked, and then I wake up on the floor. She actually fell out of bed twice. My doctors say my nerves look fine, though. So what is it? So what is it indeed? Well, we have a 68-year-old woman. She's brought to the clinic by her daughter because she has frequent nighttime disturbances. For six months, her daughter has been saying that she's been acting out her dreams. She's shouting, she's flailing, and she's falling out of bed. Now the question is, which of the following pathological protein accumulations is most commonly associated with the underlying cause of this patient's condition? Is it tau proteins? Not exactly. That's seen in Alzheimer's disease and frontotemporal dementia. But this person has REM sleep behavior disorder. Now I'll give you a hint. This is predictive of another neurodegenerative disease like Parkinson's and also dementia with Lewy bodies. So we'll keep going. What about amyloid beta peptide? Well, that'd be associated with senile plaques. It's more of an Alzheimer hallmark. Does not cause dream reenactment behavior. This guy is low yield, but seen in ALS. And finally, our correct answer is D. E is wrong. Huntington would be a CAG repeats that has movement and cognitive symptoms, not REM sleep behavior disorder. So the acting out your dreams, that's a REM sleep behavior disorder. The falling out of bed, that's the loss of the REM Atonia, the vivid dreams, yet the normal neuro exam tells us there's prodromal synucleinopathy in this alpha synuclein. That's the answer, which then can lead to Lewy bodies and is associated with Parkinson's. So there are some high yield notes for you. Just know that during REM sleep, you're supposed to be paralyzed, REM atonia. But if somebody is moving, then that means something is off neurologically. There is a brain stem center that inhibits the muscle movement during REM, and that's degenerating. What causes that degeneration? Well, here it's going to be the alpha synuclein. This also contributes to Parkinson and Lewy body dementia. Alzheimer's is more beta amyloid and tau. Frontal temporal is more tau. ALS, TDP, Huntington, it's, it's Huntington CIG repeats. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe and share it with your friends.